Lego pretty much, as you said, you know, has been this type of childhood toy and, and, and many children grow up playing with Lego, playing with their imaginations, making houses, making Star Wars, making Harry Potter, making whatever it is. And so when you sort of get the Lego on steroids, which is, you know, the robotic stuff, you've given it a brain, you've given it motors, you're giving it sensors, then it's, it's sort of a natural transition to make your plaything become intelligent, become alive. And you begin to control it, you begin to tell it what to do based on a set of instructions. So it's, it's, a, it's a smooth transition for children who grown up on Lego. At the same time, not because you've grown up on Lego means that you necessarily like to, to build robots. Because some children may only want to build static designs or may only want to build things that look good or are, that are artistic. So there, there are many different avenues that you can take with Lego. The, the one with robotics definitely is a pathway into computer science careers, into engineering careers, into you know robotics, but sort of any field that has a technological component and, and as we see happening more and more, you know, it's 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 calling on people who have interdisciplinary skills to solve problems. I find it very enjoyable to watch these things go. It's like I guess you can call it magic in a way. It's very like when you program it and make it move it feels good. It helps me in some subjects. Sometimes better understand things. In the future I want to be a robotical engineer. Uh, I want to build cars and planes. These pieces are essential for a robot because without them, the robot would never, stay, would not stay together, or it could not be able to run as smoothly on the board. I came into the job, started programming at first, and then I got into building the robot and running it. Because at first, I didn't get to the first competition that they went to, with. so I went to the second one and the third one. So I really got into all areas of the whole team. I mostly I wanted to be an aer not aerospace engineer or something having to do with basically aeronautics because I'm in the aeronautics club at my school. I wanted to do something with aeronautics at least. The first robot is called a mantis, and um, we call it the shy mantis. What this robot does is uses the ultrasonic sensor and really what that sensor does it uses like sonar technology so like it detects a distance from an object so once you come in front of this um, mantis it's supposed to see you and turn away because it's shy once it sees that you're in front of it, it will move away from it. We compete in the first LEGO League, which is uh, an international robotics competition. started in the US, but it, ex it exists in 32 different countries right now. And over 250,000 children every year participate in these types of competitions. So, again, in terms of trying to level the playing field, we don't have any in the thousands from Jamaica. So, you know, it's really about giving, trying to get some numbers up to give our children, make them 2,000 and 250,100 or, you know, Jamaica must add to that total of, of children in a significant way. So, this particular trophy was the first award that we won and um, this was won by our Jonestown Robotics team back in 2006 and um, we pretty much went into that community and trained a bunch of kids who had come to our summer camp and prepared them for the competition. And they were our first robotics team to ever win an award. Um, and then these three trophies are from our most recent competition that was held in, um, in Massachusetts. 
we won two awards. One award was for what they call the lightning round, where we collaborated with another team, and our scores were tallied together to give one total, and we were runner-ups in that, second place. And then the other award was for our presentation.